Megadeth just shot the second video from the album last weekend in Los Angeles. It's for the song Hangar 18. And if this one proves prophetic, then we're all in for some incredible headlines. Because if, as we found out when we paid a visit to the set of the video, Hangar 18 purports to tell the truth about UFOs. Hangar 18 is a location in the four corner states. Uh, I, I guess that's uh, Arizona, Colorado, Utah, New Mexico. It's a place where the government allegedly is housing foreign aircraft. They don't want to say alien aircraft, so they say foreign. Hangar 18, according to a conspiracy theory going back to the 1940s, is the alleged secret government storage area for crash-landed UFOs and the remains of their alien crews. Around the 50s or 60s, uh, an uh, aircraft had fallen to Earth, and, and through the, the crashing, when it plummeted to the ground, it had uh, broken up, and the government covered it up when a farmer had said that it was an, air, uh, uh, an aircraft. They said it was a weather balloon. So they sent out this, uh, these bunch of G-men. Uh, they were called uh, Men in Black, and they uh, confiscated all the material, put it into Hangar 18, and there was a life form there. It was, uh, he was called a Gray. And what they did was uh, they put him into a cryogenic chamber and had him in suspended animation. Welcome to a fortress Nick Mensa, our drummer, is way into this stuff. He knows a lot more about it than I do. Maybe he's just a little bit more gullible than I am. I don't know, but uh, he tells me a lot of this stuff. And, and you know, I, I can believe it. It was the last song to be created on the album. And uh, I like it, you know. It's definitely probably, you know, uh, one, one of the more... Uh, Mostly simple songs. Plus, knuckleheads don't know who we are. With its multiple sets, special effects, and heavy-duty costumes and makeup, Hangar 18 is by far the most elaborate video Megadeth has ever made. The first shoot at Scattergood Power Plant had 70 extras roaming the set, including 50 aliens done up by expert movie and television makeup artists Richard Snell and Chris Briggs. This guy has been irradiated, we, we figure. He's got all sorts of fun little lumps and bumps and skin disease and things like that. In the midst of all these close encounters, Dave Mustaine still managed to keep a rather down-to-earth perspective. As far as uh, alien life forms, you know, I, I mean, the, you walk down Melrose, you walk down Hollywood, and you see more Martians at, at, at nighttime than you would if you were screaming through the galaxy, you know? And what do you suppose they make of you, Dave?